All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Makar Kodash. The Bible says, Apostle and those great millstone are teaching us the one who said, Truth according to the Bible, well, and peace and blessings self like to the nation of Israel. Um, you know. I want to say, uh, it's like a double honor to the apostles and those great most of them are teaching us the one percent truth, of course. But, um, you know, I want to get into a Lord's willing edifying lesson on, um, how the Heavenly Father is speaking through men. You know, the Lord is getting his point across through the men, you know, that he has set up, you know. And though you see men out there on the highways and byways, it's not them that's speaking. It's the Holy Spirit that is giving them utterance. You see, this is, uh, St. Matthew's 10 and 20. For it is not ye that speak, and this is, you know, written in red, says our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, right? For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. The Spirit of the Heavenly Father which he has uh, given us, right? His Holy Spirit is what's speaking through us, you know? Just as, you know, he told Moses, right? Because you see men, you know, brother might be an uh, eloquent speaker, brother might uh, have a stutter, you know, which we all have stutters. Scriptures talk about how uh, we shall prophesy with uh, stammering lips, right? This is, um, it's not them speaking, it's the Heavenly Father that is speaking through them to, uh, you know, this is this the, this the Heavenly Father's program, you know, the things that are meant to be. So you can watch a video, right? You know, dang, that's. Hey, this I need to hear that out. You know, well, the, it wasn't you know wasn't in our will to put together that lesson. You know, to say how we said it. You know, it was the heavenly Father's will for you to click on that video and for that brother to say that specific thing through the Spirit. You see, most of the time, most brothers just turn on the camera. You know, this is a Exodus of four and 10 and Moses you, know, you might have a topic right and Moses said unto the Lord Yahweh by Shema was child, oh my Lord I am not eloquent neither here to for since thou hast spoken unto thy servant but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue right and brothers you know they might have you know a speech impediment I believe that is the proper uh, uh, term for it brothers might have Stuttering, you know, brothers might be afraid to go out there on the highways and byways, right? But the Heavenly Father, He is the one that puts the Spirit upon you to go out there week in and week out in great boldness. Why? Because He has a, a message, you know, that must be delivered. You know, as He told Ezekiel, Go, you know, go get thee onto the house of Israel. And speak with my words onto them. And when you jump down to verse 17 of that chapter, right? Ezekiel 3 and 17 says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. So a watchman, right, sits upon the high tower and watch for oncoming dangers. Right? And that's what we're doing. We're watching for the un incoming dangers and we're giving you warning from the Heavenly Father. What did he tell you, Habakkuk? I will stand upon my watch. And set me upon the tower. The Heavenly Father has set up us upon the tower. You see, and to well, watch to see what he was saying to me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And he said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. And that's what we're doing. It's the Lord that's and surely the Lord would do nothing, right? But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, the secrets of the vision. The mystery, the prophecies, right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And what the Yahweh Shai say, Blessed are your eyes, for they see. So it's not us speaking these things. It's not us speaking these words. It's the Heavenly Father. It says, And Moses said, right? Unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither here to for. For nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue, right? And the Lord, Yahweh Shema Hashai, said unto him, Who have made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb or deaf or the seeing or the blind? 
Have not I the Lord? So the Lord is the one who makes you, it might make a brother a little slow of speech. You know, he might be a little nervous going out there on the highways and the hedges. But the Lord, he, he, before you know it, you know, you know, Lord, have that, that man, you know, be a great speaker, you know, or have you become a great speaker, you know, or, or the spirit hop on you. You know, I always tell brothers, I don't, I don't know anything, you know, until the spirit of the Lord hops on us. You know, we don't know anything. The Lord is the one, you know, that, that's putting utterance in our in our mouths for us to go out there on the highways and hedges. You know, let's read verse 12. Now, therefore, now, now, therefore, go. <laughs> All we've been doing is, as Yahweh Shai said, go ye therefore to the highways and hedges and bid them to the marriage. Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. Right? And the scriptures say, what? Uh, uh, study to show thyself approved, you know, unto the, you know, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. So we got we to be studying, right, in our day-to-day -day lives, right? So we can, you know, know what we're talking about when we're out there on the highways and hedges, right? But when we get out there... Those thoughts that we have when we're studying, you know, that we remember, it's like a, it's like, uh, it's like a rush that comes to our mind. You see, it's the Lord that that is quickening us when we're out there on the highways and hedges, you know, and and inspiring us, I should say, right, to speak His words. The scripture said, "The Lord gave the word." Right, great was the company of those that published it. All we are doing is publishing, making public the word. The Lord is the one that gave it. He's put his words in our mouth. This is um, Jeremiah uh, 1 and 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Right? He knew his spirit. The spirit of Jeremiah was known in the heavens before he came down as a vessel upon the earth with a mission, right? To be a prophet unto the nations. And that's us in these times. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, right? Before you even came out of the womb, you were sanctified. You were made holy. You were set apart, right? You were, uh, 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 you know, put down here upon the earth with a mission. It says, and I ordained thee, right? A prophet unto the nations. So jeremiah before he even came forth out of the womb he was ordained to be a prophet in unto the nations but let's keep reading then said i lord god behold i cannot speak for i am a child lord don't you can't send me you know i'm a child you know it says but the lord said unto me say not that i am a child right for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Right? So where we've been commanded to speak, you know, that's what we've been, you know, we got, and, and where are the commandments found here in the scripture? So you got to be reading. Scripture say, continue thou in the things that thou have uh, been taught, learned, and been assured of, right? It says, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hands, right, and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. You see, so the Heavenly Father has put his words in our mouths. It's not us. It says, See, see I have this day set thee over the nations, and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down, right? Pulling down the lies of Babylon the Great. And to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. And what's being built instead of America being destroyed? And, you know, the kingdom of heaven, right? So it's not us that's speaking, right? It's not the men that you uh, see out there on the highways and hedges. You know, we didn't choose this life, right? It was chosen for us. You know, this is um, Amos 7 and 14. Then answered Amos and said on said to Azariah, I was no prophet. It says, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son. 
but I was a herdman in a gather of sycamore fruit, and the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said unto me, Go prophesy unto my people Israel. All right? And just as he told Jeremiah and Moses, I will I will uh, teach thee what to say. You know, the Lord put his words in our mouths. So it's not us speaking, you know. Oh, that, that, that man's a great speaker, you know. You know, I like how he speaks. It's the Heavenly Father that's put the spirit on that man, you know, to, to speak like that. Oh, you know, brother might have a stutter, you know, brother might, it, it's the Heavenly Father, it's the words that are important, the words that he's speaking, it's the Heavenly Father that are, that is speaking through that man, that's what you have to believe, you know, it, it's, it's the Heavenly Father, you know, let's get up, so I'll get one more scripture and close out, this St. Luke chapter 10, right, and this is verse 16, and this is written in red, Yahweh Shai speaking, he that hear of you, hear of me right so he is what he that hear of us is hearing yahweh shy because yahweh shy is speaking through us right it says he that hear of you hear of me and he that despise of you the words that we're speaking right despise of me yahweh shy he that despise of me despise of him that sent me so heavenly father sent yahweh shy with his with you know yahweh shy is the embodiment of the word the word, you know, the the the, uh, the 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 word that the heavenly Father would speak, it wants to be spoken down here upon the earth through men. You know, with that, you know, just want to get into a lesson. You know, something I was meditating on. You know, on the way back from camp, you know, the Lord is speaking through us. You know, it's not us that's speaking these words. You know, so with that, Lord's willing, I'm gonna say shalom.